you weren't building highways, you weren't clearing the snows, there were more dangerous under your watch. Folks, we're going to build highways, we're going to get it done, we're going to make sure those roads are cleared throughout the winter. The Ontario election has started off as a pretty sleepy affair that hasn't inspired a whole lot of voters to pay attention and get involved. And I think all signs are that it's going to continue that way for the next couple of weeks until Election Day. And why is that? Well, I think one of the reasons is that the political leaders are just not really talking about the big issues, not really talking about the things that we should be talking about pushing the Ford government for years now, every year that they've been, that they were in office, uh, to fix the problems with snow removal in Northern, on Northern Road. Fixing and dealing with contracts that were poorly structured that date back in terms of privatization for winter maintenance to a previous conservative government. We made sure that Ontario was consistently beat our snow clearing targets. Now, in all fairness, affordability is on the table, and they are talking about that, and with inflation running rampant, you better believe that's got to be discussed, and it is. But I think some of the other big-ticket items are just being ignored. Two big-ticket items, for starters, health care and education. What are you talking about, Fury? They're talking about those things. Yeah, I guess they're saying, oh, we'll hire this many new nurses, we'll hire this many new teachers, but we're not having, I think, real in-depth conversations that we should be having about what we want out of healthcare and education in Ontario. And may I remind you, those are the two single biggest spends, the two single biggest items for provincial governments in Canada. When it comes to education, I'm hearing more and more stories of parents who are paying for tutors for their kids because they just don't believe they're getting what they need out of the classroom anymore. They're, they're not getting the basics. They're just not learning their times tables. Now, there's a lot of great teachers out there who have worked for many years in the system, so I don't know if, if it's fair for us to blame it on them. I think we have issues with curriculum. We have issues of, of odd agendas going on in the classroom, in the education system, a politicization that's happening. Parents need to get in the game more. They need to be involved more. And the politicians need to start talking about this stuff. I think we have a problem with education in Ontario, and it's got to be broken down more. It has got to be hashed out more. Now, when it comes to healthcare, we just had a lockdown just a few months ago, January 2022, where everything was shut down. Society was closed because we couldn't handle 300 people in an ICU bed in this province of over 14 million people, Ontario. We got Ottawa, we got Toronto. You would think we could handle that, but no, we had to shut everything down and bring about all of the problems, all of the damages that come from lockdowns. I, I think we gotta talk about this a bit more, and it's not enough to just campaign on, oh, we're gonna hire a few more nurses. No, we gotta say what's going on in our healthcare bureaucracy such that you can still throw billions upon billions of dollars at a problem like this, and and people can't somehow fix it, they can't deal with it, they have to just say, yeah, let's lock her down again. That's unacceptable. What happened there? Now, on a related note, another big thing we have to talk about, and I don't know if any politician in Ontario actually wants to see this happen, we need an inquiry into the past two years, into our handling of COVID, all of it, whether or not the Ford government made the right or wrong decisions on different files, looking into the healthcare system, this was such a momentous thing in our lives and we can't just pretend it didn't happen and start talking about different issues. We need a public inquiry into all of it. Just open up the books, take a look, and we got to talk it out. So there you go, some big ticket issues that we need to be discussing during this election. It's very important.